Hello YouTube and other internet people. My name is Johan and I'm a tardigradeologist. Uh, and I've got something to show you. Um, but first I've got to give some explanation and that's a bit difficult because I really want to show you. For those of you that don't know what a tardigradeologist is, uh, I research and experiment with tardigrades. Uh, they are microorganisms, also called water bears and moss piglets. Uh, you can't see them really with the naked eye, but maybe you've seen them on the Cosmos series or somewhere else on the internet. Uh, if you haven't, you really should look at them because they are great. Um, I've put some YouTube links on the description. Uh, check them out after the video. Um, but here are some little previews. I filmed this regular tardigrade through my microscope. I found this one on a patch of moss from my garden. You can collect them as well. Follow the instructions in one of the videos in the description and see them for yourselves. Tardigrades are tiny invertebrates with eight legs. Hold on to something or do sit down. But these creatures are basically superheroes. They can withstand 6000 times more radiation than us, have survived the vacuum of outer space and even minus 272 degrees Celsius. When the environment gets hostile, they go into a cryptobiotic state, meaning they hibernate. Then when living conditions are more habitable, they come back to life and continue with their business. Normally tardigrades are very tiny. The biggest kind is one and a half millimeters long. You can't see them with the naked eye, but then they're nothing more than a tiny moving speck. I, however, dabbled a bit with their physique. Now, this is where things are getting a bit crazy. I'll go into the details later, so keep watching if you're interested. For now, all you need to know is that I created a hybrid with some extra additions. I made a new species. In their current state, they are quite a bit larger than usual, say about half a centimeter. Previous experiments got much different results, but I'll tell about that later. But unlike previous experiments, the group of tardies I have now are doing something brilliant. Through some interventions, not only their size, but also their behavior has changed. Usually they are seclusive creatures, but this group I have here exhibits social behavior, like, like, like insects. They work together in one way or another, and these work together much like, like ants or bees. But unlike ants or bees, the tardies don't seem to have a queen. So in that way they are more like us, and they are even shaping their own habitat. Here, uh, look for yourself. Here you can see the terrarium I keep my current experimental group in. It's mostly moss and a bit of dirt. If you look close enough you might see them moving around. But here, look what they are building. I'm not quite sure yet why they make structures. I wonder if it's for protection, much like human building houses, or for some other purpose. Don't they look brilliant? Early experiments grew so big they couldn't sustain their own size. Look, I've got some here in these jars. See? The, that specimen I've got here. Don't worry, it died of natural causes. They can't become bigger than 8 millimeters. Their heads also grew a bit bigger, as you might have noticed. This is because their brains have grown exponentially. I injected BDNF into the eggs. BDNF stands for Brain Derived Neurotrophic Factor. This stuff works as a fertilizer for neural growth. So by adding that, they get smarter. Usually their brains are tiny, but since these specimens are bigger, their brains also can expand in size. And now, this is where it gets exciting. During the section, I notice they are developing a prefrontal cortex. To find evidence of that in these studies is a very thrilling discovery. The function of a prefrontal cortex is personality expression, decision making, planning, 
complex cognitive behavior and moderating social behavior. In other words, they are becoming social animals. And last but not least, they have better eyesight. This is the smallest change, but it might be just as important as the rest. Their eyes are bigger now, and with these they can see more detailed shapes, although not as detailed as we do. I hope I've answered some of your questions in advance. If you have more, be sure to leave me a comment. And before we go, here's another video of the habitat. See you next time, Tardefans. Bye.